Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samalander Squad? So I put up a community post the other day about taking what we've currently created for charity on this channel so far and putting it towards the United Nation Refugee uh, Donation Center for Ukraine at the moment because I don't think Ukraine can wait for the end of the year. And before anyone says it, I don't have any problem with Russia. I'm sure the day-to-day -day, uh, life in Russia and all of the people in Russia are fantastic. It's just, you know, the political side of it um so i have nothing against russia and i am not favoriting ukraine politicians or anything but i just want everyone to get along but um the war right now so i have the calculator here and we're going to figure out exactly how much money we're going to send over to the ukraine again i want to be completely transparent this is my stats page my analytics page for sam the dude in the entire year of 2022 i've gained 2172 subscribers and have 88,000 likes on the channel currently for this year so uh, 2172 times 0.1, because it's 10 cents per sub, is going to be $217.20. And then I'm going to add $88, because this is $1 per 1,000 likes. So 88.3 um, brings us to a grand total of $305.50. Uh, what I'm going to be doing because I think this cause is worth it and because I just want to, is I'll be throwing in the uh, remaining amount to make it to $500 even, and I will be donating $500 to the Ukraine uh, refugee thing from the United Nations. Uh, what I will say is at the end of the year, when we are getting um, charities, when we are figuring, figuring out charities together as a whole on what we want to do, I will be subtracting this amount, not the full 500, because that's what I'm putting in. But I will be subtracting this amount from the grand total at the end of the year, because obviously we've already used this amount. Um, if you have any questions about how I'm doing this, make sure to comment them down below. I'm going to donate the amount, and I will show you the proof in a second. All right, we're back, and this is the proof right here. Samuel, thanks for the support. Obviously, I had to put my name in. Um... Thank you for the generous gift of $500 to USA for UNHCR. It is the official United Nations Refugees Organization. I saw in the comments that this is where I should be donating for Ukraine if I am donating for Ukraine. So there we go. Um, thank you guys so much. And yeah, I just wanted to be transparent about where the money is going. Onto the video. Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Lenders Squad? Welcome to the game. We're doing Auto Attack Merlin. It was yesterday's um, yesterday's videos. One of the top comments was Auto Attack Merlin. I don't know why you want to see Auto Merlin, but you know what? Who am I to judge, right? Who am I to judge? It would be ridiculous for me to think that I know better than you. Absolutely absurd. Um, but I, I do want to say again, subscribers for donation or er, subscribers for donation charity, likes for donation charity, and on the 18th, at starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, I will be doing a 24 hour stream with a lot of fun craziness. So I hope to see you guys there. The link will be uh in the description for my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Sam the Dude. Go follow so you get notified when I go live. Also, uh thank you guys so much for not only um, supporting me, obviously, but uh, helping me give back to charity. It's been something I've been meaning to do for quite some time, honestly. And um, with your help, I really, really, I feel, I feel quite good about it. You have your jump. Well, thank God he doesn't get his jump. Uh, but if he hits level 4, I'm going to die. Very painful death. Are you level 4 off that? You're not. Um, I would love to be level 4. Because I need to actually... I need to get some XP for myself. Okay, and getting level 4 giving me XP just means that I can actually blink over stuff. Um, he went Horrific Emblem. Which is honestly a bit weird as Bakasura, but... 
you know, it's it's understandable in the sense that you want to always stay up to date with where their movements are. Uh, he's level 5, which is why I keep trying to peek that corner, because he's going to vomit on me and try to kill me probably one of these times. No vomit, please. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not today. Not today. <laughs> Throw that bad bitch out there. That didn't kill anything. I full comboed the wave and it killed nothing. What the heck? That's not what my mages are supposed to do. All right. Um, I mean, there's really not much for me to grab right here other than going uh, more auto attack. He's going Golden Blade. It's going to help his clear quite a bit. Obviously, he's going to be ahead early game because he's Bakusura and he can eat buffs. I kind of just got to wait it out. It's fine. It's fine. He wants to kill me very badly. Oh. Where are you, friend? Hi ya! Oh, darn. What are the odds that kills anything? Okay. Really thought you were gonna ult me there. I was ready to transform into my uh my void stance. The reason being when I transform from frost stance to void stance, not only <clears throat> not only is he getting knocked up because I'm going into void stance. He's also getting slowed after his knockup because I'm in frost stance. The only issue with that is that um, for a short amount of time, he is CC immune after he ults. So I have to make sure I have to kind of eat the damage for a little bit, which is very scary. Yeah, okay. That's that's what I have to do. It is scary. I mean, I, I, I don't enjoy that, but... I have to eat the damage. Oh, hello. Red buff's obviously back up. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Oh. The horrific. The horrific, man. The horrific. The fact that my blink is on a fucking 25 second cooldown. Did my blue, right? Did. Damn, you did red, too. Alright. Uh, I would like to keep one buff under my under my belt, so I would really like to get this blue buff, but I don't know if it's going to be all that possible. Alright, he shouldn't have alt, so I am okay right now. Wait. Did my thing not knock him up? Going into this stance? Your middle tower is under attack. That should have knocked him up. Why didn't it? Or maybe it did knock him up and he's just so tanky it didn't matter because he just took extra tower shots. Because he started defense. That's another logical thing. He has ult right now too. Um, there's no physical defensive item that gives me extra attack speed, is there? There's Witchblade, which slows his attack speed. But none that gives me any extra, is there? It's gonna be tough, man. He's, he's very, very tanky. With that Talisman online, like 100 defense and how much HP? 1600 HP? You have 500 more HP than me and 50 more defense. Kind of scary. You doing bull demon? Hey, 
I am 100% dead here. You're dead too? That is so worth it for me. That's so worth it for me. He lost all of his, uh, he lost his entire wave to tower and he traded a kill while on a killing spree. That is so worth it for me. It's ridiculous. I don't know why he did that. He just, he just really wanted the kill, I guess. He just really wanted the kill. Thank God, man. This blue should be up soon. Nice, it is. Well, maybe that's why he did it. Because he wanted to maintain his massive amount of control over me. Got berserkers. Oh my god. Which, by the way, is just frenzy. I don't know why I keep calling it berserkers. Nice. Nice. He missed XP from the wave again and lost the red buff. That's massive. Slowly making a comeback. And I do mean slowly. Uh-oh. Damn. <clears throat> I did not think that his ult would be back up that quickly. I think I will go Witchblade here, slow his attack speed a bit, and give me a little bit of defense. That's really all it does. Um, I'll probably just go Aegis. No I assume he's doing Bull Demon right now. It would make sense to do Bull Demon, I guess. Not. Good. Me. You actually back? It actually back. All right. Oh, dude, that was so close. That was so close, man. He does a lot of damage per auto. Do almost no damage per auto. <laughs> Just looking at the numbers here, look at that. Look at that difference. Oh, the tower stayed up. Go, dude. I need my Witchblade online ASAP. Alright. That is pretty massive. I mean, Sprint would be good, but I think Aegis is just okay, you know? Like, when he ults me, I'll just... Oh my god, hello. Nice. Using my immaculate skills, I was able to out pressure him there. Dude, if I hit my autos, he'd be dead right now. I hit my autos, he'd be dead right now. Um, 
anyone like to tell me why he did that? Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. I actually killed him. He stood, he stood in my three, or not my three, I'm sorry. He stood in my two in fire stanch. Stanch. <laughs> he stood in my two in fire stance, which is a protection shred, which allowed me to get the kill. Let's go, dude. That's actually huge. Actually huge. I want more attack speed, obviously. I guess I'll just go this. I guess I'll just go demonic. And toxic play that's fine by me i'm not healing too much all right just gonna walk in and knock it out not much i can do there it did have one hp it's kind of expected um oh my hello he's so fast holy crap dude you just gonna loki it are you just playing for back door right now That's all he's doing. He's just playing for back door. Okay. This is very weird because it's hard to tell who's winning. I'm out poking him very easily, but he's just kind of like doing whatever he wants. Like he's out farming me, but I'm out poking him. Okay. Gonna do my blue and back here. What is that item? Erendite? Even more attack speed? This guy loves his attack speed. Or uh, his movement speed, I mean. He loves his move speed. I need to go Divine or Toxic Blade. Because his healing is actually really annoying with his two. This is a very, very good game. I mean, I'm down three kills, but I feel like I'm playing it very well. For an auto attack Merlin versus a Bakasura, I feel like I'm playing it pretty well. I was looking over there and I didn't see anything happening. He's 100% going to backdoor that. I mean, it's not really a backdoor at this point because he got Bull Demon, but... Oh god, he has red buff too. I lived through his ultimate and his horrific. Which I think makes me a god. I don't know. I don't know how I lived. I just juked his autos when he has all that movement speed and I lived. That's ridiculous. I was holding my breath that entire time. <clears throat> can't actually take that right there's not enough time there yeah all right we're okay we are okay hmm 
I might just alt my Phoenix, to be honest. I really want my Mannequin's Mace upgraded, because that's going to give me some defense as well. And a little bit of HP. But this is a, such a difficult game right now. This is so hard. I have no cooldown. <clears throat> because I can't. Because I'm auto attack Merlin, right? But if I can get blue buff and a 500 pot, that would help me a lot. A uh, bull demon is probably back up by now. I have the mannequin mace. He has Erendite. Okay, he, so he's going to hurt a lot. What? What was the plan there? What was the plan there? Hmm? What was the plan there? You thought you could just walk in and I would let you take my Phoenix? You're insane. You are insane. I can totally take this Phoenix, by the way. My attack speed is so fast. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I would like to do Bull Demon, honestly. I have Mannequin Mace, so the shred damage is actually there. I don't want to upgrade my relics. Oh, shit. Okay. I want to upgrade my relics and get a 500 pot. All right, so now when I Aegis, I will reflect damage back to him. And when he breaks my shell, I will have 20% more move speed. Right? 20% move speed? Yeah, 20% move speed and 15% damage mitigation. I'm ready for a fight, my guy. He might be going for the back door. Okay, he's not. He's right there. I'm a little scared. Like, if I die here, I lose the game, right? Like, it's not it's not as simple as winning the fight with ease yet. My damage is so good, dude. Okay. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. My Aegis, my Aegis hit him for 260 damage. My autos hit him for 1100. Mannequins, 400. Talakine's 300. We actually beat a Bakasura. We actually beat a Bakasura with auto attack Merlin. What the heck, dude? <laughs> what the heck, dude? I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Oh my god. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace. Holy crap.